Hey, 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 we got big news today. Disney has finally confirmed multiple land expansions are happening and in progress in Disney World. One very popular attraction in Epcot will be closing this summer, and we've got an up close and personal look at the new animatronics coming to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I actually got to go see them myself. All the latest theme park news is coming up right now here on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ at Disney Food Vlog. Today, we're taking a look at new updates to a beloved attraction in Hollywood Studios, the construction progress on Communicore Hall in Epcot, and everything you need to know if you're visiting Disney World this week. So let's talk land expansions. Disney has been teasing us with little updates and reminders about a huge expansion that's being planned for Magic Kingdom, right? The Beyond Big Thunder Mountain expansion. Up until now, it seemed like every announcement has been a little more vague without any concrete promises, but it looks like Disney might be finally putting this plan into action or the pedal to the metal or whatever you want to say. So when is this going to happen? We don't got an opening date or a timeline for the new area, but we do know is that work is finally actually beginning. At an exclusive media event this week at Walt Disney Imagineering, yep, I got to go to Walt Disney Imagineering, it was the coolest, we were told that Disney will soon file permits for storm drainage and other foundations foundational work for the land where this expansion is going to take place. It's a small but crucial step as they get ready to build on that land, start breaking ground and actually get a shovel in the dirt. And with this, Disney is confirming that expansion plans are finally in motion. Now, Walt Disney Imagineering executive Bruce Vaughn has said that these expansion plans for Magic Kingdom are the largest ever. The additions are reportedly on a similar scale to lands like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Hollywood Studios and, and Disneyland and Pandora, the world of Avatar in Animal Kingdom, including the addition of new attractions, restaurants, shows, and more. That means big changes for the iconic Disney World Park. And Disney's finally moving forward with some interesting plans for Animal Kingdom as well. They've been teasing their new Tropical Americas theme land as a replacement for Dino Land. And this project is still in the very early stages of development. Disney just revealed that Imagineers are currently on research trips to Mexico to gather inspiration for the new area. Now that Disney's confirmed that Imagineers are doing some field research, we can't wait to see what kind of creative ideas they might come up with. So at that Walt Disney Imagineering media event I got to go to, we got some big sneak peeks at the newest attraction coming to Disney World and Disneyland, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Previously, we got a look at some of Tiana's critters that you'll see throughout the attraction, many of which are playing various instruments. But now Disney has shared a second group of critters, including Octavia the Bobcat, Paw Paw the Bobcat, Claude the Louisiana Black Bear, Bernadette the Louisiana Black Bear, Sebastian the Louisiana Black Bear, and Finna the Gray Fox. Now, in addition to the new slew of critters, Disney shared a first look at the Tiana's Bayou Adventure attraction poster. The yellow and green design features Tiana in her new outfit posing in front of the mountain. There are sketches of some other critters and Princess and the Frog characters throughout. But that's not even the best part. Disney showed us at Walt Disney Imagineering some of the amazing new animatronics. And they also shared photos and some video of these online. There are several Tiana animatronics. There's Mama Odie, a couple of Mama Odie animatronics. Charlotte, who is absolutely stunning. Ralphie is jamming on the drums. Louis who can be found in multiple ride scenes. We've got Juju, Eudora, and Prince Naveen. Now we cannot wait to see all of these animatronics in their full glory on this new attraction coming soon this summer, at least in Disney World. But if you have a chance to go read that blog post about the animatronics that we wrote, I found a couple of secrets as I was walking around Walt Disney Imagineering that I really want you to hear about. So read that blog post if you get the chance. Now, Disney has officially released the concept art and the closing date for Test Track at Epcot. Disney hasn't released too many details about what the ride experience will be like just yet, but they did mention that it's going to take inspiration from World of Motion, the ride that was originally there when the park opened in 1982. Guests will have until June 17th, 2024 to hop on Test Track and create their own sim vehicles. And after that, we've got a complete reimagining coming. Now, Disney announced this back in 2023. The concept 
concept art makes the show building look super sleek and adds a lot of purple to the color scheme we see now, which is primarily blue. The ride will still be sponsored by Chevrolet. As Disney mentioned, they have great long-standing relationship with them, but we've got some pine trees in the background of some of this concept art. We've got sun shining in there, and that's very different from what you see right now in the ride, so I'm interested. Disney has been involved in a heated proxy battle with activist investor Nelson Peltz, who is petitioning to get multiple seats on the company's board of directors. Tryon Partners nominated Peltz and former Disney CFO Jay Rasselow to be elected to the board, but Disney made it clear they don't endorse either candidate. It all came to a head during a vote at Disney's 2024 annual shareholders meeting this week, and now we finally know who's come out as the victor in this long, drown-out battle. During this week's meeting, shareholders voted in support of Disney's current board and the 12 directors it recommended. You can learn more about those 12 directors on our website. I've linked the article down below. And Disney announced that the shareholders voted in support of the Disney board's slate and against Pelts and the Tryon group, as well as the Blackwell group. They reported that the current board's recommendations won by a substantial margin. After the voting, Disney CEO Bob Iger said, with the distracting proxy contest now behind us, we're eager to focus 100% of our attention to our most important priorities, growth and value creation for our shareholders and creative excellence for our consumers. At the 2023 Destination D23 event in Disney World, we learned that Star Tours, the ride in Hollywood Studios and Disneyland and Disneyland Paris would be receiving some new updates. Over the years, this simulator ride has undergone several changes, including new characters and new missions. And the day has finally come. This classic Star Wars ride that was created by Disney and Lucasfilm has gotten another upgrade. Now, when you ride this attraction, you're going to see characters potentially from the new Disney Plus series Ahsoka, Andor, and The Mandalorian. Cast members shared that during the initial rollout, riders should be able to see a combination of a new scene, new planet, and new transmission featuring Mando, Cassian, or Ahsoka. Now, we're getting closer and closer to the opening of Communicore Hall in Epcot, and we got a big sign to prove it. Literally, Disney installed the bathroom signs and the official Communicore Hall sign on the building. While we were taking a look at the progress, we noticed something exciting happening. The colorful lights are being tested as well, and we've seen testing going on last week, but it's always fun seeing more updates. The colors are currently cycling through bluish purple, green, red, and white colors, and we don't know if they're gonna all be happening at the same time or if it's going to be in these kind of color chunks, we'll see. Now to stay up to date on all of the Disney news, be sure to follow us on social media at Disney Food Blog. We are posting constantly on every platform to make sure you see all the latest from your favorite theme parks. Also, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. The link to sign up for that is in the description of this video and it's completely free and you get all the updates in your inbox. In addition to Communicore Hall, Communicore Plaza will be an outdoor space where guests can experience all the Epcot festivals. It's also going to include a new area for large-scale concerts or intimate performances that extend out into the nearby gardens. Now, we spotted something new near one of the new hero features, which is big artistic elements like topiaries and sculptures, in the World Celebration Gardens last week. At first, we were a little confused. What's up with this? Is it a stage? We checked the My Disney Experience app, but no new entertainment was listed. So we spoke to a cast member who told us that a new show is debuting in Epcot called Forces of Nature. According to a cast member, the show would take place at 1015, 1115, 1215, 110, 210, and 310. Now the new acrobatic show is about 15 minutes long, and it comes from the same company that provides the art-defying gravity entertainment during the Epcot Festival of the Arts. There were five amazing acrobatic performers who performed some impressive stunts on a large globe-like stage, and we won't spoil the story for you, but as the name implies, there was a lot of nature-inspired movement in the show. As we mentioned, the show is not currently listed on the My Disney Experience app, but cast members told us they expect it to take place daily. Okay, so during the Walt Disney Company annual shareholders meeting on April 3rd, 2024, Disney dropped quite a bit of news on us. Not only did we get a new trailer for Inside Out 2 and a look at the upcoming Moana sequel, but we also got a first look at concept art for a potential Avatar-themed land that could come to Disneyland in the future. We don't know about you, but that looks pretty incredible. Of course, this is just a blue sky idea for now still, meaning that while Disney has the idea that an Avatar land could work here, no plans have officially been announced yet. 
So a long rumored change is finally coming to an opening day Disneyland attraction. Disney's planning on replacing the pure gasoline engines that have powered Autopia's cars since its inception with new electric or hybrid power sources. Many Disney fans have long wanted the company to transition the Autopia vehicles to an electric power source, both for environmental reasons as well as improving the park environment by eliminating those smells and sounds associated with the engines. No timetable for the Autopia changeover has been given as of now, and and it's left us wondering what this might mean for Disney World's similar attraction, the Tomorrowland Speedway. As of now, nothing has been announced about swapping those gas vehicles to electric ones, but we'll be on the lookout for updates. Another thing that came out of our Walt Disney Imagineering time when we were allowed to kind of look around and explore is an update on those interactive droids returning to Galaxy's Edge. We've seen these cute and entertaining little wandering droids out and about in Disneyland at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They've roamed around Batuu interacting with us, but Disney has only shared that they are testing the concept and that they may or may not return. Turns out these little guys are already back on Batuu. These BDX droids are now roaming around Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland until June 2nd during the season of the force. You can find them at various locations around Black Spire Outpost throughout the day. And the season of the force is a special event that's taking over Disneyland now through June 2nd. Special Star Wars experiences are happening, including a new nighttime fireworks show. The Hyperspace Mountain Overlay has returned to Space Mountain, special merchandise and food and more. Now, there's a new character wandering around Galaxy's Edge 2. We were able to briefly meet Sabine Wren. We think she looks absolutely incredible, and those of us on the East Coast are now begging Disney to bring her to Walt Disney World as well. At this time, she doesn't have a set meeting time in Disneyland, so you'll just need to keep an eye out when you're in the land. Cast members nearby may be able to give you an idea of when she might be coming out or when she was last seen. We just found something very useful in one part of Disney World that may help you if you find yourself in need of a diaper. If you're in Disney's Animal Kingdom, you may want to visit the Conservation Station at Rafiki's Planet Watch. To do that, you have to take the Wildlife Express train to get there. Now here's the problem. The Wildlife Express train may not have enough space for your stroller. If you've got a baby, what do you do? Well, you can park your stroller nearby, but what if you forget your diaper bag or other essentials? What if you need to change a diaper? Well, Disney's got you covered. You can get Pampers diaper changing kits in the vending machine at Conservation Station. Convenient, right? These machines have snacks too, just in case you need them. Yeah, I know diapers and snacks in the same machine. We're but hey, each diaper changing kit, which costs $3.50, comes with two diapers plus wipes. If you happen to need more wipes, you can find a pack of 16 in the machine too. Listen, don't say I never helped you out. Heading over to restaurant and snack news. The Disney dining plan has officially been back for a few months now, and we've had a chance to relearn all the little quirks and idiosyncrasies of the prepaid meal service. If you're truly looking to get the most out of the Disney dining plan on your next trip, you are in luck because a brand new restaurant has been added to the list. Eat by Manit Shawan in Disney Springs is now accepting quick service dining credits as part of the prepaid meal plan. This new counter service restaurant serves up fast casual Indian eats dreamed up by celebrity chef Manit Shawan. Now, if you want to learn all the ins and outs of the revamped and recently returned dining plan, be sure to check out our full video already up on the channel. Although spring technically just began, we've been celebrating the arrival of the season since February with Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. We tried all of the booths on opening day, but one of the booths has a seasonal menu that has recently changed. The springtime menu has officially arrived at Farmer's Feast. From now until April 27th, you can snag the following. Seared scallop with tomato risotto featuring Ben's original international grains, Arborio rice and tomato bear blanc for $7.75, and the blueberry buck with lemon creme fraiche for $4.75. Now overall, we really like the springtime menu here at Farmer's Feast. We liked it much better than the early bloom menu. We'd recommend giving it a try if you love seafood and or fruit-based desserts, but the best news is that even if none of these bites appeal to you, you can come back in a few weeks and try the next items on this rotating dining menu. The next menu that will be available is the summer solstice menu, which begins on April 28th. Now, this is the only booth that is gonna change menus throughout the festival, just a heads up. Okay, we've got some awesome, awesome discount news. Starting on April 9th, Disney Visa card members can get a free Disney dining plan. The deal applies to select arrival dates in July, September, and December, and you must book a non-discounted four-night, four-day or longer Disney Travel Company package with the Park Hopper option. If you have a Disney Visa card, this could be a major perk for those looking to take advantage of the free dining deal. Be sure to check out our website on April 9th for all the details on this new discount. 
I come to you today filled with great sadness because a travesty has been committed in Disney World. It's become clear that we have to say goodbye to a DFB favorite snack, at least for right now. The loaded burnt ends fries have been removed from the menu at Regal Eagle Smokehouse in Epcot. I know, I'm just as sad as you are, maybe more. Now we noticed they'd kind of gone missing. They were never really on the online menu. They were always just sort of on a placard, but we headed to the restaurant to investigate and a cast member confirmed that they were gone, but that it was possible possible they could come back in the future. Apparently these delicious fries came about when Disney needed a way to use up extra burnt ends from the brisket. But now that the team at Regal Eagle has honed in on the amount of brisket they need to prepare each day, they've gotten to the point where they no longer really are producing excess and that means there's not enough for the fries. We'll be on the hunt for any potential updates in this wretched saga and we'll let you know if we find anything out. Now have you eaten at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue in Disney's Hollywood Studios yet? This all-you-care-to-enjoy table service restaurant serves up barbecue, you guessed it, and you'll find it in the Toy Story Land area of the park. Now, we are happy to report that both annual pass holders and Disney Vacation Club members can now get 10% off their meals at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. We confirmed the news with a cast member at the restaurant, and it may not seem like a huge amount of savings, but every little bit helps in Disney World. With dozens of places to eat at Disney World, we know it can be tough to plan your meals, and that's, of course, why we wrote the DFB Guide to Walt Disney World Dining. We've got reviews and pictures and details about every restaurant all in one digital download, along with all of our best tips and strategies from decades of Disney World trips. You can even use code YouTube for a discount. It's the start of a new month, which means I get to tell you about the new treats you can find at Gideon's Bakehouse in Disney Springs. To begin, the white chocolate macadamia nut cookie has returned. This time, it has gotten a little revamp with a coating of macadamia nut crumble sprinkled on top. Of course, it also has Gideon's homemade salted caramel baked right in, too. These are here every day of the month while supplies last with a limit of two per person. This is my husband's very favorite Gideon's Bakehouse cookie. Gideon's is also bringing us a brand new cake of the month. Make sure you head over to any Gideon's location on Wednesday days and Saturdays throughout the month to check out the pineapple dream cake. This is made up of their classic vanilla cake and is frosted with pineapple buttercream. On the inside, it's layered with house-made pineapple jam and pineapple caramel, and there are some brown butter caramel crumbs on top. To top off the food offerings, they're also bringing us the limited edition banana nitro cold brew. This is their classic cold brew infused with syrups made from real bananas. You can snag this at their Disney Springs location throughout the month. Now, here's some good news to kind of counterbalance that burnt ends fries news. Missing sauces have returned. We cannot help that we love our sauces. Dips are the best. They're an important part of any meal, and seeing these things being taken away with little to no explanation has been difficult lately over there in Disney Springs. Luckily, sauce lovers can take a breath and celebrate a victory, at least in this circumstance. We took a visit to Deluxe Burger in Disney Springs to check out the sauce situation. You remember that harsh disappointment recently where they took some of their self-serve sauces away. Now, we walked in and we were met with a miracle. We saw all six shiny sauce dispensers lined up and ready for us to use. It truly felt like a life-changing moment and we felt a huge weight being lifted off our shoulders. I know, it sounds dramatic. Sauces can get that way. Now you are able to get their chipotle mayo, garlic ranch, truffle aioli, barbecue, 1921, and buffalo ranch sauce to your heart's content. And we're hoping chicken guy is going to follow suit and bring back all of their saucy goodness too. All right, here's what you need to know if you're going to Disney World this week. It was a very busy week in Disney World following the Easter holiday. It was so busy, in fact, that park hopping was paused on Thursday because Magic Kingdom hit capacity. Reminder to you annual pass holders, be sure to get those park pass reservations in for the first park you want to visit because they are filling up fast. This is why we tend to tell folks to avoid Disney World if they can this time of year. Otherwise, you'll just need to pack your patience and be willing to be very flexible with your plans. It's also a good idea if you have a trip coming up soon, you'll want to go to Magic Kingdom first thing in the day, just in case it hits capacity. You can always park hop somewhere else later if you have the park hopper ticket option. Genie Plus has been at a steady $39 for almost two weeks now, and that's kind of the max it gets to at the moment. So if you're planning on buying the service, do it early so you don't risk it selling out. Remember, it goes live at midnight of the day you're going to Disney World. And if you're staying at a Disney resort, take advantage of that. You can grab your individual lightning lanes at 7 a.m. before regular park guests. And just a reminder that Rock and Roller Coaster is still closed until later this summer. As for the weather, it's looking a little cloudy with a chance of some storms this week, and you know what that means. Summer in Orlando is quickly approaching. You can expect anywhere from low 60s to high 80s, so pack in layers and bring your rain gear. 
Now, if you love hearing all the latest Disney news and just can't wait for Saturdays, sign up for our newsletter. We will send all the latest breaking theme park news straight to your inbox for free. The link to sign up is in the description box below. That's it for me today, everybody. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.